Before you start setting off fireworks this 4th of July, you want to watch this right here. This is how the government tests those fireworks. And you can see in this dummy, he's holding a firework. And you can see, watch, blows his hands off, rips off part of this dummy's face. The feds spend time and money on this to make sure that these scenarios do not happen to you. And ultimately, your safety comes down to where you buy your fireworks, how you store them, and how you use the explosives. Now you know the basics. Keep fireworks away from heat and keep a bucket of water handy. But have you thought about the possibility of static electricity setting off your fireworks? Well, this morning we talked about that being a possibility after we got this post on Facebook. It says, my sister died from a fireworks accidentally going off in her bedroom. 100 mortars went off, burning her entire body. She was folding clothes and the static set them off. That's scary, isn't it? So how worried should we actually be about static electricity? 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas is putting that question to the Verify test. On the 4th of July, many of us celebrate using fireworks, but one Bay Area woman sends out a warning. She says static electricity set off mortars in her sister's home three years ago, killing her. After listening to Catherine Flint's story, we set out to verify that claim. She was folding towels in her bedroom, and um, the mortars were in her bedroom, and I guess the static electricity got one of the fuses, and they all went off. But she couldn't get out, and she was hit by them and burnt over 100% of her body. 49-year-old Catherine Flint died the next day, leaving behind five children and twice as many grandkids. Her sister, Tracy Appleton, says, according to the state fire marshal, a cigarette and an ashtray may be to blame, but the family believes it was static electricity. And static electricity accidentally set off mortars or other fireworks. Static electricity cannot set off a consumer-grade firework. These are we turn to fireworks expert Dustin Luer from Sky King Fireworks in Sarasota. These are Class C 1.4G fireworks that we sell as a retailer to our customers, and it's not possible to set off one of those with uh, static charge. We have a lot of protective features on fireworks now. The, all the products are completely covered. Um, we even have fuse protectors on every item now that you have to deliberately peel back um, the cover to expose the fuse, and at that point, you have to deliberately take a fire to that, that fuse to set it off. Dustin says the Class B fireworks could be set off easily, but those are illegal for consumers. The people who bring in Class B items, like the real power technicians, are very good at what they do and they are very safe. They're, they're regulated by the government and know how to protect that. They have to have bunkers to, to store that, those items. July 4th is a day of celebration, but not for your family. No, no, not anymore. It's just a memory of a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. So can static electricity accidentally set off fireworks? Our expert says that all depends on the class of fireworks. In Sarasota, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. If you have something that you want us to verify, post a question for us on our 10 News Facebook page.